Today is the 12th day of Christmas. Every single day in the last 12 days, you have been receiving morning and evening messages from me, and I have absolutely loved seeing the responses, hearing the feedback, whether it's reading the gratitudes that you have all come up with or sharing with me that you had tried a recipe. It warms my heart so much to be able to spend time with you, even just a little bit through an email every day. So thank you for taking the time and thank you for all the positive feedback and support. So today I wanted to do something a little bit special since it is the final day of the 12 days of Christmas. I wanted to say thank you very much again for all the love and the support. And I was trying to think what the best thing is that I could come up with as a gift to be able to give to you. So what I did is I started thinking about what my life has been like in the last year and what the biggest gifts are that I've personally extracted from life. What I feel has been the best quality, the best support, the best lessons that I've learned over the year. One thing that really, really, really stands out, and this is something I've been helping a lot of people with recently in sessions, is the idea of suffering and being unhappy. And you'll see the tag all along the internet that happiness is a choice and the state of mind that you have is a choice. And it can be kind of frustrating to see that over and over again without the backing and the understanding of how to actually make that choice happen and how to be able to actually create that for yourself. If it were that easy, we would all do it. And sometimes we just have to be taught. Sometimes we have to be mentored. Sometimes we have to be given other options or ideas that allow us to be able to do things a different way. So I wanted to just share with you for a couple of minutes, it's not a long video, something that is really important to me. And it's something that really has stuck out with me in the last year, which is the concept of suffering and unhappiness. I've realized something very big and whether it's because I read it and it finally just sank in, whether it's from a situation that I've had in my own life, I don't actually know why it sank in, but it did finally. And it's that if I'm suffering, if I'm unhappy about something, if I'm irritated about something, it's not what the situation is. It's the meaning that I'm giving to it. It's what I'm making it matter. It's how, like, it's how I'm defining the situation and how I'm defining that situation is what is making me suffer. It's not the situation. Life is just happening around me, but how I'm defining it, the meaning that I'm giving to it is what's creating the experience behind it, which in that situation is unhappiness. And the reason that it creates suffering and unhappiness is because it's not a truthful situation. It's not a truthful meaning, if you will, that I'm giving to it. It's not a truthful situation. So my body, my spirit, my essence is fighting back. It's saying, no, this isn't what it is. No, this isn't what I feel. No, this isn't the truth. Instead of defending it and instead of giving it 10 more reasons, instead of sharing it with 10 friends of mine saying, what do you think about this? And everybody kind of agrees, but I'm still left in an unhappy state. It's the meaning that I'm giving to something. Um, I asked for permission to share a little something that I had worked with with somebody in a session and she was dating somebody and this somebody ended up coming home really, really late and I was helping her because they got into a huge fight and I was asking her like what was happening and she's like, well, he didn't call me and he didn't do this and he didn't do that and of course he should have called and he should have done this and he should have done that. For me, I have learned when I use the word should, it means I'm defending myself. It means I'm defending my standpoint. It means I'm defending my ego, if you will. So what I've learned through this process is of just life is when I'm using the word should, I got to let go of that because if I don't let go of the word should, what happens is I start defending and I hold my stance even more. When I hold my stance more, it means I'm right. As long as I'm holding a stance of feeling like I need to be right, I'm not going to be happy. It's just how it works. So when I notice the word should, I let go. So I'm working with her and she's like, well, he should have done this. He should have done that. Called all these people and they all agreed. That's right. It gets ammunition for a really good fight. And if you want to be right, that's awesome. But if you want to be happy, we have to look at a different way of being able to think about it. So basically you should have done this. You should have done that. Okay, cool. Well, after we worked on that, we took it down a little bit of a level and I'm like, well, what meaning did you give to it? She's like, what do you mean? And I said, well, obviously he's late. So it meant something to you. What was the meaning that you gave to it? As she was able to work on it, what she understood is that she was able to figure out that it made her feel unimportant and that she wasn't feeling taken care of, that maybe he was having an affair. She didn't feel secure. 
And then from that meaning, all these feelings came up when in fact his cell phone had got lost and he was just late. So two things that I've learned this year. The first is if I'm unhappy about something, I have to take the time to look at what the shoulds are and look at the meaning that I'm giving to things. The second thing that I need to do is if I want to be happy, I don't have to do anything, but if I really want to be happy is I really need to assume the best. I need to assume the best that a, the person that I'm dealing with or the situation always has my heart in consideration, my feelings in consideration, because if I feel anything other than that, I'm going to defend and it's not going to go well. So that's the gift that I wanted to share with you. And I hope that the, some points of wisdom stuck out for you. If it did, share them with me. If it did, share this on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it wherever you want to share it. Because the more we can help people and the more we can inspire happiness in people, inspire happiness in people, and the more we can just allow life to happen and allow ourselves to feel deeply supported in our lives. Just amazing things can happen. And life is just happening. And the meaning that we're giving to it is going to define the experience that we have. And if we assume things are happening to support us, just imagine how different life would be. If you thought today you were going to wake up and something amazing was going to happen to you, you'd be excited for life. You'd look out for the positive by nature. Your entire life comes from, the quality comes from, how you're choosing to see things, what you're choosing to focus on. And there's some really beautiful things that you can do to be able to let yourself really focus on seeing things in a positive light, that things are positively here to support you. You're gonna see a lot coming from me in the next year of helping support you and helping be able to guide you and teach you how to do this in an easy way. It's not hard. You just have to be willing to commit. You just have to be willing to commit and you have to be willing to let go of wanting to be right all the time. So when you notice the word should, take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, let go. When you notice that you're assuming the worst, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, let go. When you're suffering, what meaning are you giving to something and is it definitely true? Is it true? And if it's not, and you don't know, go back to assuming the best. It makes the quality of your life so much better. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I'm so excited to have been able to spend this time on this video with you. And I hope you're doing really, really well. And I hope that just these moments in this day of receiving these emails, morning and evening, gave you just a little bit more joy in your life. If we could do that every single day to each other, imagine how beautiful life would be. All right, I'll talk to you soon.